Hey guys, welcome back to another Scratch tutorial video. Today I will be teaching you how to make this plane shooter in Scratch. So as you can see I can shoot my enemies. There are different ones with different sizes. I have a score, lives, and I can shoot them and they explode. If I touch them I explode and lose a life. And if they go under me I also lose a life. And I also have a game over screen. So let's just get right into coding. So starting the project, I have one sprite called player. It contains the plane and an explosion animation. I also have another one called shots and it only has a bullet. I have a third one named enemies and it has three different types of enemies and an explosion animation. And I also have a sprite called game over screen with just a game over the screen. That says game over, double click the flag to restart. I also have backdrop, that's just the sky. Okay, so first I'm going to start in the player sprite. I'm going to say one click, forever, go to X, mouse X, Y, minus 125. So when you click the green flag, the Y position is always a one, minus 125, but we can move the X position with our mouse. Now I'm going to go on to the shots. So here I'm also going to say, when clicked, set X position to mouse X. But we want there to be many bullets. So we're going to take this and put it in when I start as a clone. And when I start as a clone, I'm also going to show. And when clicked, I'm going to hide. And then in the one click block, I'm going to say forever if mouse is down, create a clone of myself. And then wait 0.1 seconds. So that's how many seconds it's going to wait between each shot. Okay, so now back to this. I want to start as a clone. We're going to change our Y position by 10. And if it is touching the edge, then it is going to delete this clone. So let's just try this out to you. As you can see, the bullet always goes to the plane. And I can shoot. And when it reaches the end, it will hide. Okay, so with that done, we can go on to the enemies. Here we'll make three new variables. One is called score. And another one is called lives. And we'll make a third one called amount of hits. And this will be a, for this sprite only. For this sprite only is also for this clone only. So we'll get out a set block and go to when clicked. We'll duplicate this three times. And first we'll say set score to zero. Then we're going to set our lives to 5, but you can change this if you want. And then we're going to set our amount of hits to 0. And then we're going to hide. Now forever. I'm going to wait 1.3 seconds. But you can change this. This is just the time it waits between each enemy spawning. Then I'm going to go to a random X position. So go to pick random minus 200, 200, and Y 250. So it spawns at the top of the screen. Then I'm going to pick pick a costume. So switch costume to 
pick random one two three and these are one two three then I'll say create a clone of myself now when I start as a clone I'm going to show and set size to I'm going to get her to plus operator and a times operator and put the times in the second block then I'm going to say set size to 550 plus costume number times 150 the reason it is like this is because my size is 700 but you should change this based on your size so if, if the costume number equals 1 it's going to be 150 if it is 2 it is going to be 300 and so on now when I start as a clone I'm going to forever change my Y position by minus 5 so it is always going downwards and if it is touching the shots it is going to change my amount of hits by 1 now I'm going to get out another when I start as a clone block out and say when I start as a clone forever if my amount of hits equals costume number times 7 so for the first time it's going to be 7 the second time 14 and so on so costume number times 7 or it is touching the player is going to explode so or touching player and put this in the if then okay so now I'm going to do the explosion animation I'm going to switch my costume to explosion 1 then I'm going to wait 0 0.1 seconds we can just duplicate this then I'm going to switch my costume to explosion 2 and insert this in the if statement. Then I'm going to change my score by 1 and delete this clone. Okay. Now we're going to say if it is touching the edge. So if touching edge and get out a bigger block and minus 150 is bigger than y position we are doing this so only if it is touching the edge and the y position is smaller than minus 150 will it do what's in here we're going to wait 0 0.2 seconds then we're going to change our lives by minus 1 and delete this clone so let's just test this out here we're going to go into full screen we can shoot and they explode we have different enemies and when they reach the border they hide and when I hit them they also explode. We're going to just hide the enemy's amount of hits and go back to player to add something. So when clicked forever if it is touching the enemies I will change my lives by minus one because after all I exploded then I'm going to go to the next costume and then I'm going to wait 0 0.2 seconds 
and then go to the next costume again. But this time I'm going to say wait 0.4 seconds and then duplicate this again. Now I'm going to put all of this under here. Okay. Now when we click the green flag, we can see we can shoot and if they hit me, I also explode. Now let's try to die. As you can see, we can have minus one lives. So we still need to make the game over screen. We'll go to the game over screen and say, when clicked, go to X0, Y0, so in the middle, and then hide. And then forever, if our lives is equal to zero, so we don't have any left, it will show, it will go to front layer, and it will stop all. So let's just test this out. I'm just going to let them pass. And yeah, we have a game over screen. So it says game over, don't click the flag to restart. And that was the end of my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell so you don't miss another video. If we hit 15 likes on this video, I'll make a part 2, where we will make a boss fight. Bye!